<clears throat> Felicity Smoke? Hi. I'm Oliver Queen. Of course. I know who you are. You're Mr. Queen. No, Mr. Queen was my father. Right, but he's dead. I mean, he drowned. But you didn't, which means you could come down to the IT department and listen to me babble. Which will end in three, two, one. I'm having some trouble with my computer, and they told me that you were the person to come and see. I was at my coffee shop surfing the web, and I spilled a latte on it. Really? Yeah. Because these look like bullet holes. My coffee shop is in a bad neighborhood. If there is anything that you can salvage from it, I would really appreciate it. Looks like blueprints. Do you know what of? Exchange building. Never heard of it. It's where the Unidac Industries auction is scheduled to take place. I thought you said this was your laptop. Yes. Look, I don't want to get in the middle of some Shakespearean family drama thing. What? Mr. Steele marrying your mom. Claudius, Gertrude, Hamlet. I didn't study Shakespeare at any of the four schools that I dropped out of. Mr. Steele's trying to buy Unidac Industries. And you've got a company laptop associated with one of the guys he's competing against. Floyd Lawton. No. Warren Patel. Who's Floyd Lawton? He is an employee of Mr. Patel, evidently. I've got one question. Why am I being fired? Miss Smoke, isn't it? Yes. And I am, without a doubt, the single most valuable member of your technical division. That's including my so-called supervisor. Letting me go would be a major error for this company. I agree, which is why you're not being fired. I assumed when you brought me up here, it was because... It's because I wanted you to look into something for me. A variance of $2.6 million on a failed investment from three years ago. It's authorized by my wife. I was hoping you could find out some of the details of the transaction for me. Find out? Dig up. Discreetly. I'm your girl. I mean, I'm not your girl. I wasn't making a pass at you. Thank you for not firing me. The company, Mrs. Queen, or Steele. Mrs. Queen Steele. Is she hyphenate? She seems like a woman who would hyphenate. <clears throat> right. The company she invested in doesn't exist. I don't understand. There was no investment. The money was used to set up an offshore LLC called Tempest. I don't recall that name being under the Queen Consolidated banner. Because it's not. There's nothing registered with the Secretary of State. No federal tax records, no patent applications filed. But in 2009, Tempest purchased a warehouse in Starling City. I should add personal internet researcher for Oliver Queen to my job title. Happily, I mean. His name is Derek Reston. We were close before I went away, and I want to get back in touch. Guess you didn't have Facebook on that island. Nope. Not even a MySpace account. It was a very dark time. Well, there's not much here that's recent. No credit activity, no utility bills. Oh, I guess you guys must have met at the factory. Wait, what, what factory? The Queen Steel Factory. Derek Rustin worked there for 15 years until it shut down in 07. Derek Reston worked for my father? You weren't really close friends, huh? Looks like Derek was the factory foreman until your dad outsourced production to China. About 1,500 employees got laid off. Looks like the finance guys even found a loophole in the union contract, so they didn't have to pay severance packages and pensions to their employees. They all pretty much lost their homes, including your friend. How was your trip to Australia? I've always wanted to go down under. It's just 
I have this thing about kangaroos. More of a phobia. They wig me out. They look evil, and I'm sure the picture's up on, like, everything everywhere in that country. You had something important to tell me, Miss Smoke. Yes, I did. It's about Tempest. Your wife's mysterious LLC, the one she diverted company funds to. I appreciate your diligence on this, but, uh, it was a simple misunderstanding between my wife and I. Everything's been resolved. No. See, it hasn't. There was something about the money transfer that felt hinky to me. The money your wife withdrew from the company, I wasn't the only one who tracked it. She was being shadowed by another entity, and whoever it is, they're good. NSA good. But as you know, I'm good too. So even though they left almost no trace of their presence in our system, I did manage to find one thing. Well, one image. Does that symbol mean something to you, sir? No. What means something to me is one of my employees prying into my wife's private business without authorization. And should it happen again, I'll have you suspended. Is that clear? Crystal. You wanted to see me, Mr. Steele? Did I mention it's almost Christmas? Many of the suicides this time of year are due to sudden and unexpected joblessness. I want you to find out all you can about that notebook, where it was made, how it was purchased, and what it could mean. Yes, sir. Felicity, I asked Josiah Hudson, our head of security, to look into the same subject matter. He died the next day under questionable circumstances. What I may be asking of you, this mystery, are you sure you want to do this? I hate mysteries. They bug me. They need to be solved. What are you doing? It needs to be dark in here if we're gonna do this. If I had had more time to think of that sentence, it wouldn't have sounded so dirty. Look. I don't see anything. I got these from Applied Sciences. They're able to pick up the subvisible variations in the UV spectrum. Now, look at the book again. I'm in the middle of a dinner party, Miss Smoke, so I hope this is of some importance. I guess that depends how you define important. See, most people would consider finding a list of names written in subsonic ultraviolet invisible ink important. But then I already know about that, don't I? Did you know seven of the names on the list are guys the vigilante has had in his crosshairs? That is, if Bo's had crosshairs, which they don't. But it is a rather long list, Felicity, so I would expect there to be some overlap. Like Doug Miller. Head of Applied Sciences at Queen Consolidated. What of him? Mr. Miller may end up getting an arrow in his stocking because he's on the list. So, important or not? Hey. Don't you knock? Felicity, this is the IT department. It's not the ladies' room. Right. What can I do for you? My buddy Steve is really into archery. Apparently, it's, you know, it's all the rage now. Yeah, I don't know why. It looks utterly ridiculous to me. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it's Steve's birthday next weekend, and I wanted to buy him some arrows. The thing is, he gets these special custom-made arrows, and I have no idea where he gets them. I was hoping you could find out where this came from. Careful. Yeah. Chef's composite is patented.
And that patent is registered to a company called Sagittarius. That's Latin for the archer. Really? Could you find out where and when this was purchased? According to Sagittarius company records, that particular arrow is part of a bundle shipment. 200 units sent to this address. Felicity. You're remarkable. Thank you for remarking on it. And Merry Christmas. I'm Jewish. Happy Hanukkah. And here I was beginning to think my days of being Oliver Green's personal computer geek were coming to an end. Is that your way of saying you miss me? No. But if it works for you, go with it. <laughs> so a friend of mine is running a scavenger hunt, and there's a case of Lafitte Rothschild 1982 waiting at the end. Oh, I love red wine. But in order to find it, I first need to get through this. <laughs> Security fob. It's pin protected. Challenge response goes back to a company called Black Hawk Squad Protection Group. Yeah, my friend had his bodyguard set it up for him. Personally, I, I think it's cheating, but whatever. This is a military-grade cryptographic security protocol. Your friend really went to all this trouble? The idle rich are hard to entertain. Listen, you get through it, and one of those bottles of wine is yours. What did you get? I think your friend's bodyguard gave him the wrong security fob. Why is that? Well, once I got past Blackhawk's authentication system, there wasn't anything about a scavenger hunt. Just a directory. Well, I think you stumbled onto, or well, gotten me to stumble onto something pretty illegal. Define illegal. Oh, you know, robbing an armored car with grenade launchers and tear gas. What? what? Someone at Blackhawk was using their system to store detailed routes and schedules for each of the city's seven major armored car carriers, including the three that have already been hit. Mr. Queen, I think we should provide this information to the police. With it, they should be able to predict the next heist. Hold on, Felicity. I don't want to get you in trouble with my friends, so do me a favor. Forward that directory on to me, and I'll get it to the police personally. Thank you. Oh, no wine, then. Hey, we need to get you to a hospital. No. Oliver, God knows what was in that drug. It could be causing permanent damage. <clears throat> Felicity. Hey, they said you'd be up here. You look like something the cat dragged in. Not that there are cats in this building. Well, well, once a cat did get in, but a guard tasted it. It smelled like fur and static in here for like a week. <clears throat> Do you mind stepping away from the window for a moment? I have a little bit of a hangover. Sounds like you need a Bloody Mary and a pretzel. Not the IT department. Actually, my buddy Kevin is starting an energy drink company. He says it's fantastic for curing hangovers, but I'm very particular about what it is I put in my body. I'm noticed. I said not noticed, right? <laughs> I'm trying to find a secret recipe. Could you please do a spectral analysis of the sample and find out exactly where in the city it's made? If it's an energy drink, why is it in a syringe? I ran out of sports bottles. Your BS stories are getting worse. Well aware. Hi. Hi. Thanks for meeting me. I was nervous to come to your house. Okay. The thing is, I've been debating whether or not to share this with you for weeks. Can I trust you? I'm not an idiot. You've dropped some fairly ridiculous lies on me, and yet I still feel like I can trust you. <laughs> wow. 
Why is that? I have one of those faces. Sorry. Yes. You can trust me. Then I have something to show you. Have you ever seen this before? No. Where'd you get it? From your stepfather. From Walter. Um, where did he get it? He said he found it in your house. That it belongs to your mother. Walter thought she was hiding something, something more, and he wanted me to look into it, but then he vanished. I think this list might have cost Walter his life. <laughs>